to this somewhere. Alright, see you in 24 hours, crab pots. Hope you have a big crab for me. There you go and welcome back to Kano's Fishing. Just down at some little beach today, flicking a few baits in. Got a big bait on that rod there. And I did have a small bait on this rod here, but just got and got myself a nice big, probably 60 centimeter grunter, which is good. I was actually just about to start cooking up my breakfast here and the bloody rod just started screaming off. But that's good, that's a pretty nice fish. Definitely be going in the esky. I might actually start doing some filming now. <laughs> All right, you beauty. Cheers for joining. And I'll um, try to get some more fish for you, I suppose. Woo! There's that grunter there. Nice big grunter. I haven't caught one this big since I was on the reef. Yeah, we'll put him out of his misery and um, get another bait out there. You beauty. Hey, what more could you ask for? Breakfast on the beach, rods are out, tunes cranking, obviously not right now, it's copyright purposes. Nice, beautiful morning, and we've already got a fish on the board. Hopefully, we can get another couple. What a day, eh? What a day. There's be breakfast there. No bites as of yet. Um, I'm gonna have to fill it up that fish because I've only got a really small little esky there. So I might actually film that because I'm not sure I'll catch too much more out here, but I'll make an episode out of this, I'll film it, and I might even do a little catch and cook. All right, I'm gonna eat me breakfast and get into filleting. New beauty. <laughs> We're on. Come towards me. Oh, I just dropped it. Oh, you're kidding. Ah, oh, you bastard. That was a good fish. I was mucking around with the camera and I lost him. Damn it. I'm going to fill it up this grunter now. So, everyone knows how to fill it, I think. It's pretty easy, you just cut down here, just beside the head there, all the way down to the back. Just like that. Run your knife along here. It's pretty simple, a lot easier when you have a chopping board, not a rock. But, Beggars can't be choosers, can they? So yeah, once you get down to about here, just put your knife all the way through, obviously. Cut along to the back of the tail. And then, just whip the sides off. Just 
just cut through the pin bones there because nothing you can do about that. Every fish has pin bones. And then you just get down here and there's your slab. Nice little grunter slab right there. Um, yeah, bugger it. I'll skin him up for you as well. Still got my rods out. <laughs> Hopefully one doesn't go off while I'm doing this. But yeah, skinning's pretty easy as well. Every single YouTuber in the world showing you how to skin a fish or fillet a fish, but thought I'd just join the bandwagon. And there you have it, chuck your skin back into the ocean. And there's your nice grunter slab. Might just cut the pin bones out of there as well. Pretty, just follow the bloodline down a bit. Probably go in, yeah, I don't know, 100 mil maybe. And then just cut that out. There you have it, there's your pin bones. It's a pretty good bait too. Might actually keep that for bait. And yeah, there's your slab. Go wash him off, chuck him in the bag. And there's your beautiful piece of grunter. I'm just gonna rip the other side off and I might even take the wings off him because pretty big wings on it. But yeah, that's how you feel the fish. <laughs> you probably... yeah, I said I'd rip the wings off so I may as well. I'll um, talk you through that. I can figure out how to do it. You just cut down there. There's a little gap in between the top part here and the actual bone down here. So you just go into there. Cut in. There's that side free. Flip him over. And see, you come off its head here. There's like a little gap just in there somewhere. Just gotta find it with your knife. There's the gap there. It's a bit of a This is a tricky thing. Oh, there we go. Alright, so now you just want to cut down there through its belly flap. And there they are. There's the wings. Beautiful big grunter wings and that's about all you can really get off it you could probably you could use that for crab bait <laughs> that's about it I reckon might even do that actually I'll just chuck in there and there we go there's a fully cleaned up grunter now the fishing's got a bit quieter now I haven't got a bite in a while but um I was hanging around a bit longer and I'll do that catch and cook. But looks like that could be the only fish today. I hope not, but it could be. Right out. Well I think that's it for today on the fishing side of things. The tide's got a bit too low now. The sun's a bit too high in the sky. Fish have stopped biting. Caught that one grunt today and um, dropped that other one. I just looked back in the footage of that other one. Pretty shitty footage, but I'm still going to put it up anyway. But, um, yeah, I've still got a crab pot to go check, so I might go check that on the way home, but I think the tide might even be a little bit too high for that. But we'll go for a look anyway. 
And I might do that catch and cook at home just because I've got nothing out here. I can have fish with fish and nothing else, but feeling a bit fancy. So I might go get something fancy from the shops. Have a bit of grunted salad or I don't know, something like that. And we'll see what happens. All right, I'm just going to pull these lines in and head home. Well, head to the crab pot, I should say. All right, see you at home. Fuck, see you at the crab pot. <laughs> We'll have a look anyway. Oh, there's a crab in there. That's a legal crab. Fair few little fellas. Got one legal one. Yes! You'd be 80. Finally. There's like five crabs in there. Little fella, little fella there, little fella there, 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 and then over here, the big buck. He beauty. Woo! Well, we're gonna get that one mud crab, but that's a decent, nice, solid male. Big buck, as you can see, obviously everyone knows that. Nice big rusty buck, which means he's full of meat. And yeah, that's that's all right. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cook up the wings. I know I said I was gonna have something fancy and all that stuff, like a fish salad or something, but um, I actually, sent a message to my housemate saying he's want some fish for dinner and mud crab and they're pretty keen on that so I might just leave that for dinner tonight with them and um, I'll just do a catch and cook with the wings here. I'll show you what I do when it comes to cleaning wings up ready to eat. All you need is these two tools, big bloody pair of scissors and the dodgy three cent <laughs> fish scaler. So first thing, just cut off the um, cut off the bloody fins with the scissors. Some people like to leave them on and eat them as a fish chip, but I think that's just bloody gross. So I'm gonna cut them off. Well, there's that bit. You just want to oh, break them in half like that, flatten them out, just makes it a bit easier to scale. Now the scaling, everybody knows how to scale a fish, surely. So I might just skip through this bit of, but yeah you get what to do here. You're just scaling it. That's it really, she's all scaled. Now you just want to give it a little wash. Just if you missed any scales, still stuck on there. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I don't like eating scales very much. Not the best thing when you're eating a fish. Just want to wash all that blood and guts and shit off here. Cause this is where the guts sit, right there. Yeah, you just wash that. And that's it really. That's the wings. Ready to be cooked. Alright. See you in the kitchen. Alright, so these are all the ingredients you're gonna need really. Just butter and garlic. That's what most people use, but I absolutely love smoked paprika. I'm gonna chuck some of that on there too. And oh, probably a bit of salt and pepper. Bit of S and P. The only one for me. All right. So what you wanna do is get yourself a knife, a little chopping board here. And you just wanna make little cuts in the meat. Just 
like that. You don't want to cut too far, because then you get to the other side, obviously. These little cuts everywhere, just like that. And all that's doing really is just letting the flavour go in there. I might, yeah, I'll just leave the other side. So I can just go through all these little cuts here. And all the butter and garlic and paprika and salt and pepper will just go into there. And it will be beautiful. Bloody beautiful. Righto, that's enough of that. Get yourself a knife. And you just want to get your garlic. And I use a lot of garlic because I seem to really like garlic, like the rest of the world. Shock. But you just sort of lather that through all them little cuts there. See, even that wasn't enough. Just put it everywhere, mate. Just throw it around. Garlic's the best shit ever. You can't get enough of it anyway. No such thing as too much garlic. A little bit more just for you. Right, there's the garlic side of things. Now, might let that butter melt a little bit longer. Put the little bit of paprika on. That'll probably do. I'll just put that around everywhere too. Yeah. And there's that. And I'm not waiting too much longer for that butter. Bugger it. Chuck it on. You just want to sort of put that everywhere. When it's melted, it's a bit easier. But you just chuck that everywhere around it. Just melts anyway. A bit up there, a little bit down here. Just spread him around, you know. And chuck that there. Right. That's enough butter and garlic. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Now a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, there you have it. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, I'm gonna go heat up the barbecue and um, Chuck it on. All right, barbecue's heated up. It's at, what's that, 150 degrees. And she's smoking. She is smoking. I'm just gonna gently put that down. Sunny side up, obviously, so it all can melt in there. Just gonna close this. And I don't know, give it 10 minutes or something and she'll be cooked. in front of the camera because that seems to be the thing to do when you do a catch and cook. Have a look at that. Hey. Mmm. Oh yeah. Bloody hell. Such a nice fish. I reckon grunts has got to be one of the most underrated fish in the estuaries. It almost tops mangrove jack, I would say. Almost. 
But Mango Jack just gets that big hype from everyone. Well, that is beautiful. Nice, delicate flesh. Absolutely smashed with garlic and butter. Nothing better. Nothing better than that. No, there is a few things better, but that is good. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode.